thank you for having me here. I'm going to talk about something today that we've just announced a week ago. Let me just dive into that. Can we go back a slide? Maybe, maybe not. My good friend and co-founder, Dr. Lehman Baird, in 2012 had a vision for how the internet should work. How online communities should be able to create and evolve pieces of cyberspace, environments within cyberspace, how we should be able to create virtual worlds in which we play together, we work together, we buy and sell goods and services in a secure manner without the need to entrust our data or privacy with a central party. I remember while living there in central Texas, in Austin, Lehman and I dozens of times would meet at our favorite Starbucks down the road and he would convince himself time and time again it was impossible to achieve. And then in 2015, Lehman had a breakthrough. We call this the hash graph today. We decided to start by using the hash graph to address enterprise markets. We built an enterprise grade platform. And then that led to a point in time last summer where we realized we could move on from phase one to phase two. That's a public platform. Today, a week ago, we introduced Hedera, which is a public hash graph network with a global governing council. Before I dive into the details of this, I'd like to first talk about the problems that we identified in the market that needed to be addressed in order to move the market forward to gain mainstream adoption of a public network. I think it's interesting to note that after years of availability, there still are no notable enterprise applications, let alone mission critical applications running on an enterprise public or running on a public network today. Why is that? Well, if we talk about technology, I think what we have to recognize, and I'm sure everyone also agrees, that we need to be able to process hundreds of thousands of transactions per second, and we need to be able to come to finality or consensus on the order of those transactions within seconds. In terms of security, if we believe that these platforms are going to manage property rights and currencies and other forms of assets, and they're going to process billions or trillions of dollars of value, then we have to know that they're going to be targeted for attack. And we have to prepare for that. And what that means is that we have to start with the algorithm. We have to prove certain sets of security properties in the algorithm itself. In other words, we have to start with solid math. In terms of stability, you know, it's interesting to me that I've heard time and time and time again that our industry sort of looks and feels like the Wild West. I'm sure you've heard it as well. Well, why is that? Well, it's probably for a number of reasons, but one thing that we can almost all agree on is that the major platforms are very likely to split into competing platforms and currencies. Well, this introduces chaos into the market and we believe is a hindrance to the adoption by, by the mainstream markets. So we have to somehow provide both open innovation and stability, both. And then governance. If we can provide that open innovation and stability, the question then becomes what's the right governance model? And I would propose that it's a governance model where the best and brightest minds actually contribute directly to all parts of the organization. When I'm talking about governance, I'm not just talking about the way in which we come to consensus on the order of transactions. I'm also talking about governance of the organization that is running the platform. Business operations, marketing and PR, finance, legal, regulatory concerns. The governance model needs to reflect the 
interests of a global constituency and the way that the platform evolves over time. Hedera has answers to these problems. In terms of technology, Hedera is built on top of the same Hashgraph platform that we've been selling to enterprise customers. It's got a solid enterprise grade foundation. It processes, well, let's talk about that. I'll come back to that rather than do the big reveal here. In terms of security, Hedera as an algorithm achieves the best one can achieve in the field of distributed consensus. It's the gold standard that is often called asynchronous Byzantine fault tolerance. Practically what this means is that Hedera is resilient to a category of distributed denial of service attack that other technologies simply aren't. Any algorithm where there's a leader or a coordinator or depends on some type of synchronous process is susceptible to DDoS attacks. Asynchronous BFT solutions are not. And they were thought to be impossible to achieve at scale for decades. It's also the case that Hedera is resilient to a category of attack that most of the industry doesn't even talk about. And that is what we call fairness. Um, it shouldn't be possible for a single party in a distributed network to prevent transactions from flowing into the network or delay them in any way. Nor should it be possible for a single party to influence or control the order of transactions that the community ultimately agrees on. A whole range of use cases depend on fairness. If you have a distributed stock market, a matching platform, you really don't want one party to prevent bids or asks from flowing into the network or dictate the order of those bids or asks within the network. The same thing would be true for auctions. Any time-limited business transaction. Games. If you have a multiplayer game and two of the players reach over to pick up that pot of gold at about the same time, the order in which they press the button makes a big difference. So this fairness property is needed across a broad range of use cases. Hashgraph uniquely has a proof of fairness in the algorithm. What about stability? Hashgraph is patented as a technology. But what that means is not that we're going to use the patent in a proactive, punitive way, but rather in a purely defensive way. What it means for the development community is that there is no license required to use the platform. There is no license required to use the services of the platform. No license is required to build smart contracts on the platform. The software that the developers build is their software. And Hedera, as a platform, will not encumber that in any way. In fact, to use the platform, you never even have to talk to us. You simply use it. There's no license required. But what it does mean is that we can bring stability to the platform that it's difficult to bring otherwise. The software, the source code with version one will be put on a GitHub account and released for open review. So there will be transparency in the code base. You'll be able to download it review it, compile it, compare it to the same code that is available as binaries to download for any of those of you that want to run a full node in the network. So there's transparency in the code base. But what I can tell you is that Hedera will not fork. I can guarantee it. So if you have legal controls, 
technical controls and you have the technology that we've described, then the question is, what is the correct form of governance, both for consensus and for the organization itself? We have a split governance model. We call it open consensus with permission governance. Open consensus means that anybody can run the, a node in the network that chooses to do so. It's not a closed permission network. It's an open network. Permission governance, in this case, means that we have pulled together a council of the world's leading brands, cross industry, cross geography. These organizations individually each have tens of billions of dollars in market cap. You will recognize their names. They're providing oversight and expertise in every part of the business. We don't just have a list of advisors. We have a council of decision makers that will help run the organization. What's the platform look like? As I mentioned, we have Hashgraph Consensus, the same technology that we've been using for years, as the foundation. On top of that, we have three initial, set, uh, three initial services. Of course, a cryptocurrency with native support for micropayments. File storage, distributed file storage system. And also, direct support for Solidity smart contracts. The Ethereum virtual machine is encapsulated, put on top of the platform. Solidity contracts will run out of the box on top of the platform. What about performance? These numbers are in the white paper on the website. There are a lot of variables that go into performance numbers, and so you really need to look at all of the details. In this case, we're talking about a single shard. So in a single shard across eight regions around the globe, we were able to achieve 50,000 transactions per second in less than three seconds of consensus latency. When we doubled that and we went to 100,000 transactions per second, consensus latency only went to 3.4 seconds. And when I talk about consensus latency or finality, I mean we achieve 100% certainty on the order of transactions with a math proof that you can take to a court of law. It's not probabilistic. Okay. When we go to two regions across the United States, we can do 250,000 transactions per second with three seconds consensus latency. Now, this is transaction ordering. And the right question to ask is, where's the bottleneck, right? If you can process this many transactions per second, where's the bottleneck? It turns out signature verification is a bottleneck. Being able to verify 250,000 digital signatures per second is hard. What we did was decide to parallelize the effort in the GPU. And the question is, can you achieve that throughput and signature verification on the GPU? Well, yes, we achieved a million signature verifications per second on the GPU, meaning the bottleneck is removed. We will achieve hundreds of thousands of transactions per second, and we have the performance results to demonstrate it. So in summary, we've addressed all of the problems, the constraints, if you will, in the market that we identified in a unique way that I believe doesn't exist in the market today. We are Hedera. Final, final word. This is happening now. We have a test network up and running on four continents today. We have partners building product on the platform today. At our event a week ago, Gabe Bladen, the CEO of Machine Zone, a multi-billion dollar game company, one of the most successful game companies in the world, made a product announcement on stage with us. They're building product on Hedera today. We're addressing 
ad tech um, as a use case with partners. Matt Sorum, any, any Guns N' Roses fans? Matt Sorum, the drummer from Guns N' Roses, is building a distributed marketplace for artists to be able to sell their, their product direct to consumers. And even here in Hong Kong, we have MindFun that is setting up an incubator uh, program, their venture capital firm, and they are setting up a, a program here called Helix to fund companies that want to build product on top of Hedera. We're going global. If you go to our website, you can see more details. Uh, we have a Telegram group that's already in the mid 20,000s of, of members, something along those lines. We have 3,000 developers uh, on our Discord channel. We invite you to join us. Thank you.